good morning. Oh my god, I look so tired. So it's just past seven o'clock um, and I've just left the hotel. Heading off to um, the train to go to Buckingham Palace. That's where the meeting point is for the bus up north to the Warner Brothers Studios for the Harry Potter the making of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter Studios tour. I'm so excited! people that were in the line with me um, are taking their time so just going for it I can't believe I'm here <sighs>
such a loser. I did the Quidditch flying thing and I bought two pictures. <laughs> I was gonna get one of these when I went to Universal last year, but I'm really expensive, so here we go. It's like cream. It's really sweet. Ugh. I regret this purchase.
that. But um, I've got a little bit of time, so I'll just hang out for a bit before the bus goes. Stopped up on goodies, gifts and things. Just walking back to my hotel now. Oh my God, this pimple. Oh. Um, going home for a bit of a rest and then I'm going out again. I'm seeing 40 Second Street tonight. Woo, I booked my tickets, 25 pounds. So friggin' cheap. And then I did some shopping, so I'll show you what I've got um, when I get back home. But I also realized that I hadn't shown where I'm staying. Like I hadn't shown you what the outside looks like. So it's a really cute little hotel. Grand Plaza. I think it's cute. Yeah. All right, so on the way home, I was walking through Victoria Station and they had this really cute cupcake stall. So I decided to buy myself an after show treat to have tonight. So I bought a, um, I'll show you. So I got a cookies and cream cupcake and a caramel macadamia miniature cheesecake. So I'll start with these photos. I'll show you these first. I thought it was such a laugh. And then 20 pounds later, I've freaking got these photos. All right, so let's get to the first picture. And they gave me a um, Ravenclaw robe because, oh, because I'm a Ravenclaw, hence the scarf. So that was the first one. How freaking real does that look? How good? And then the second one is this one where I'm flying over the castle and looking up. And then the next thing I got was a little um, deck of playing cards or with different magical creatures on it. Now I got this little pack of honeycomb for my mum. She doesn't really eat sweets that often, but I know that she likes honeycomb because she likes crunchies. So I got her that. And I also got my sisters um, a magnet each. They've both recently, or when I say recently, like one of them moved out over a year ago and one of them moved out a couple months ago. So they moved out, moved out of home. Um, and Ashley said, asked me to get magnet a magnet for her. And I thought might as well get one for Steph as well. So they can pick which one they want. They're both at the castle, so they can choose which one they prefer. And then for my stepdad, I wasn't sure which one he would like more because he loves chocolate and he loves sweets. So um, he can choose one out of these two and I'll keep the other one. I'll have the other one for myself. I got three key rings. So I got two Dobby and one um, Hogwarts. They're for my sisters. And that's it for what I bought so far. I haven't really done that much shopping while I've been away. Like for the whole Singapore trip and now here, I've just like been doing more experience type things. Oh, I bought some things from the Kensington Palace yesterday. So I've only got four days left, which is crazy to think about. Can't believe that I spent the first two days feeling so homesick. I didn't let that stop me and I didn't let that ruin the experiences that I was doing, but I was just so homesick. So um, I'm really glad that I'm feeling better today. I think it's because I didn't have enough sleep. Like over three days, I didn't really sleep a lot. So I had a really great sleep last night and then I'm gonna have a bit of a rest now. I had a nap on the bus on the way home from um, <laughs> Warner Brothers and then I'll go out all night um, and get home later. It's just insane how much of lack of sleep affects me. I've never had that experience before. So yeah, it was a new one for me. And I'm off again. I feel fresh, got some loopy on. Um, I am going to go have dinner at Shake Shack. I didn't actually get to try that when I was in the States, so I saw that there was one right near the theatre. So I was like, why not have an American themed evening, have some Shake Shack, and go and see an American musical? Why not? seat double a 18 so let's see how that goes messed up i'm in the front row oh well i could just jump on stage with them if i wanted to literally in the front row hey guys so i just got back from the theater i'm watching a bit of shanexo her vlogs okay so 40 second street was phenomenal why am i so red in this lighting i'm not red in real life but look at this it's so red maybe it's just this room Anyway, okay, yes, 42nd Street 
wow, flawless, absolutely flawless. Like, I'm, oh, I miss performing so much. And then watching a phenomenal dancer like that just makes you want to get back on stage. So if you're in London and the show's still on, like, just go. It's incredible. And um, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I got the tickets through Today Ticks, which is an app. My sister told me to download it. And then like a few people after that told me to download it too, where you can go on and see really cheap tickets for, like you can book a few days, like a days in advance, but um, you can book them for on the day for well, this particular one was 25 pounds. So I went on and you have to like unlock the 25 pound tickets, like gain access to it. So I did that. You have to like share it on social media. So if anyone saw some random thing for today ticks, Oh, my Facebook, that was. Yeah, so I um did that and yeah, like I at 10 o'clock, all the cheap tickets go on sale. So um I, yeah, bought 25 pound tickets, which is like 50 Australian dollars for an incredible show. And I was in the front row. Um, Tomorrow I'm seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I'm like dying. I'm going to be so Harry Potter'd out, but I won't be though, because I can never be Harry Potter'd out. Ah! Anyway, I'm going to get ready for bed and just, yeah, jump, go to sleep now because I've had a big day. So I will see you guys in the morning. Scratch that, that's not really a good night. I'm gonna try the little mini cheesecake that I got um, as like a little late night snack before I brush my teeth. Um, so let's see how we go. So here's a little, little box. It is heavily constructed, this box, holy All right, here we go. Oh, it's nice and soft. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, Lola's cupcakes, good cheesecake. Okay, proper good night. See you in the morning.